Welcome in, convict. Have a seat, won't you? Let's get you all set up and ready to go. It's an important day after all. You could at least act like you want to help out all of humanity. It may not be important for you, which is surprising considering it would regain you your freedom, but uh, you are going to help out the rest of everyone left, so you think you'd take it at least a little more seriously, wouldn't you? Okay. Let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Now, I'm sure they already debriefed you, but it's really not like you have too much of a choice now, do you? Alright. I'll just run through it briefly and we'll get started. After the quiet rapture, which I'm sure you remembered, how could we forget? causing all the stars, habitable planets, and life on them to disappear. Only those remaining on space stations and starships were left. Now, the consolidation of iron ore, the CY, hmm, launched an expedition to AT5 here to help secure humanity's survival. That is where you'll be headed, convict. Recently, we discovered a blood ocean that is quite expansive, located on the surface of AT5. It is a desolate moon, but this expansive blood ocean shows promise. It shows life for at least certain materials needed to help us sustain ours, and that is where you come in. Yes, we will be sending you to specific coordinates located on a map that I will be giving you. And you are to investigate these sources and retrieve pictures or samples that show vital resources that we could use to help maintain all of life here on the spaceship. Understand? Good. Now you'll be maintaining or piloting a small submarine known as the SM-13, also affectionately nicknamed Iron Lung. I'm sure they went over it with you briefly on how it works and how you'll be navigating it. Now, the Iron Lung, or SM-13, is not built to withhandle these depths that you will be undergoing. So, here's the fun part, Convict. You're going to be welded in, and the viewport, or the only window access that you have, will also be welded shut. That way we can keep you safe. After all, all you care about is getting back and getting your freedom. Is this right? Good. Hopefully you don't have claustrophobia. All you have to do is hit these points. Keep that in mind and get back to the surface and you're home free. Understood? Good. No. As you are aware, Convict, all rumors of the SM-13 and similar crafts being used, such as the SM-8, have been proven false. These so-called mob justice by the way of forced suffocation or otherwise have been proven false. So, we obviously would like you all to return safely. So just stick to the plan. Now, you are part of the Conviction Realization Program. Right. For your crimes committed in 362 EIC on the filament station from Eden. Do you remember this? How could you forget? So, after the nine-day battle, where it left this station uninhabitable, you were sent to the realization program. So, good luck. Today, I'm just going to go ahead and debrief you on the coordinates. Make sure that you are fit for this opportunity that we are so lovingly giving you. And we will get you welded in. It's launch day, Convict. Are you ready? Good. All right, let's get started. You don't have any allergies to latex, vinyl. Good. It's not like we have many options up here anyway.
I'm going to start by taking a look at your face. I do have to get a little close to both of our dismay. Is it okay? Hold still here. No, there's nothing bothering you, no pain, anything like that that I should be made aware of or that would make you unfit for this exploration. Is that correct? Good. All right. Hmm. If you're talking about the previous convict, I have no knowledge to them or their whereabouts. After they went into the blood ocean for exploration, we have lost all contact with them. So. Information unknown. Just keep your head down and do your job and everything will be okay. Is this understood? Good. All right. How are you feeling today? Not feeling ill, anything that could cause an issue with your exploration? Anything you should make me aware of? Very good. You don't have an issue or fear of oceans, depths, creatures, Anything like that that could cause an issue. Okay. And have you eaten today? Good. Hold still here. I'm going to take your temperature. Ninety-five. So that is good. Put that here in your charts. we should be able to monitor you and your levels such as oxygen, etc. while you're down there. Though, as I mentioned with the previous convict, we did lose communications with them for quite a bit. So, we like to make sure we have a good reading before we send you down. Now, hold out your hand here, please. I don't believe we're on a first name basis yet, convict. You can just call me doctor. No, hand. Place this on your finger here. And we're just going to give that a few seconds. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Heart rate's a little elevated, but to be expected with your future journey coming up here. All right. Let's go ahead and get your blood pressure here. You could roll up your sleeve for me. Let's be 120 over 80. Alright, now let's just go ahead and listen to your heart and lungs. Hmm. Alright, roll up your shirt for me, please. And you'll be taking some deep breaths in through your nose, out through your mouth, and just keep that going for me.
little lesson, keep that going. There you go. Alright. Well, you seem fit as a fiddle. Such a waste to go ahead and send you down there. <laughs> well, assuming you'll return. Alright. Now, let me go ahead and take a look at your eyes here. Hold still for me, please, convict. You're not having any discomfort or anything to the light, are you? Okay. It's still here. I'm just going to swing the light from eye to eye. Okay. All right. Okay, keep your head, neck, and shoulders still for me. I'm gonna have you follow this light with your eyes, okay? Alright, here we go. You're not having any issues with that? Good. Alright. I'm gonna hold my hands up to the side here and you tell me how many fingers I'm holding up. Look right here, we're just testing your peripherals, okay? Here we go. And tell me when my fingers go out of your view, okay? Here we go. Okay. Excellent job. Couple more eye tests for you and we will move on here. One moment. Alright. I'm going to point to a letter and you tell me what it is. your color blindness. What number do you see here? Okay. How about here? It's very good. Here. Here. And lastly, down here.
Excellent job so far. As much as I hate to compliment you, you do show promise. A little bit more than our last convict, so. Let's continue our testing, shall we? I'm going to go ahead and test your sense of smell here. So. I have a couple of cotton swabs here and some different scents. I'm gonna go ahead and spray them, hold them up to your nose, and you tell me what you smell, okay? I would appreciate a little less sass from you, convict. We're doing this to make sure that there's nothing hindering you during this exploration. I mean, we could just send you back to your cell and not give you a chance at freedom. Which would you prefer? Very well. Then let's continue. Close your eyes and take a deep breath in here. What do you smell? Pine, great job. Let's do the next one here. This is a new Q-tip. Just making sure it's fully saturated here. And close your eyes, deep breath in. Coffee, correct. Last one here. Okay. And deep breath in. What do you smell? Lavender. Very good. All right. Let's go ahead and Test your sense of taste, that shall we? I have a few different flavors here. And I'm gonna have you open your mouth and stick out your tongue. I'll place a couple drops on there. Can you tell me what you taste? Self-explanatory. Tell me what it is you taste. Chocolate, correct. Let's move on to the next one here. Very excellent job. And the last one here. And tell me, what do you taste? Vanilla, correct. Okay. That does it there. So let me go ahead and put that in your chart. 
We just have to do your test of hearing and touch, and we should be good. Do you have something against pink? Oh, may not fit the vibe, but gives me a little bit of joy down here. So, let's see. We'll go ahead and we'll do your sense of hearing next. So I'm going to take a quick look into your ears here. Hold still. seeing any blockage or anything like that that could impede your hearing. Okay, yeah. Check the other side here. And yeah, no impacted earwax or anything like that, so that's good. Okay. And are you having any issues hearing? No. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and just out your ears real quick and then we'll test your ears. We have some new cotton swabs here. Alright, let's start. when you think on Let's test your hearing. Close your eyes for me. Make some noises next to your ear and you tell me when it stops. Here we go. I'm just going to grab my tuning forks. Alright, so we'll start with the lower pitched one. I'm going to whack it, hold it up to your ear, and you tell me when it stops. Here we go. the other side. Now for the higher pitched one. I'm going to whisper some words into your ears and you repeat them back to me, okay? Here we go. Exploration. Good. No, not good, I'm just saying. Okay. Dive. Ocean. Other side. Filament. COI. Realization. Journey. Great job. Okay. 
Last but not least, let's just go ahead and test your sense of touch. I have a soft and a pointy implement here. I'm going to touch different parts of your face. You tell me where and if it's soft or pointy, okay? Eyes closed. No peeking. Here we go. smile, frown, puff out your cheek, kiss your face, okay. turn your head that way, out the other way. Okay. I want you to push your shoulders up and I'm going to push them down, okay? Keep me from That should do it then for us. Actually, you know what? We still have to do one more thing here. Before I forget. This is more for your benefit, so we're gonna go ahead and give you a shot to help with the deep sea effects that you could be feeling. To help with any like motion sickness or stuff like that. So let's go ahead and get you. up here. Yeah, I hope you aren't afraid of needles. <laughs> We're gonna put it right here in your neck. It's gonna be the fastest place for it. So, first we're gonna start by Disinfecting the area. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna be a little cold here. Just going to wipe that to clean. Okay, we got now. wasn't so bad, was it? Alright. No. As you've noticed, I'm sure, your sub is directly below us. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the maps, and you can go ahead and get in and we'll weld you shut. Open this up here. <laughs> your mission starts now, Captain. Here is the map of the blood ocean. You will see this on your terminal inside the sub. You will have to hit all of these individual points that you see on your map. Okay? Very good. If you click it on your terminal, it'll give you the exact coordinates you have to use regarding an X and Y axis. The A is going to be for the angle that you will be viewing it. We do need it specifically at this angle to get the picture that we require to take a look into this, okay? Okay, so for example, this first point here is going to be about 340x and about 200y, okay? 
Okay, so you're gonna have to hit that point, angle yourself, and get a picture. I'm sure they've already briefed you on where the camera is, etc. Okay, very good. All right. Do you have any other questions for me? Well, then hop on in. Yes, can I get a welder? Thank you. Good luck. I hope to see you again soon.